Hey guys! A few days ago I found out I will not be able to wear my contacts for at least a month and after that it remains to be seen whether I will be able to wear contacts at all. In any case I will have to wear my glasses a lot more than I used to before so I have been looking for different ways to really rock my glasses without feeling like I'm in constant kind of lounging or weekend mode when I'm wearing them which is kind of the association I have with them currently. So today I wanted to share three hairstyles with you that are really cute with glasses and obviously bangs because I do still have my bangs that are vintage inspired. So they are not authentic but just a little nod to decades past. So I'm gonna go right ahead and get started with the first one which is going to feature some really fun little victory rolls. So I am going to take my glasses off while I do this hairstyle. Um, since I'm standing close to the mirror I will be able to see. If you are not able to see from up close then you can keep your glasses on and try to kind of work around them. I'm going to start by taking a section of hair from the front right here from about the middle of my head down to my ear. So about this size. And that I am going to back on. So I'm just going to tease it. Alright, so when I have back on that section I'm going to kind of smooth over the front and then it's time to form my roll. So what I'm going to do is take two fingers right here and then roll all the remaining hair around them like that. Take it off and then roll this towards my head. I'll try and form a nice little roll and when I'm satisfied with the shape I'm going to take a bobby pin and stick it in from the top right here. Okay so there's my first little roll done I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. So start by taking a section of hair, back on this And I am going to back on it quite strongly because this is really the base of my roll. And if I want this to stay up, I'm going to have to create this fluffy base. And then I'm going to create my roll by wrapping my hair around my fingers. And then rolling towards my head. And kind of molding the curl right there. And this is kind of the trickier part because now I not only have to make a nice roll, but it has to be symmetrical <laughs> with the other one. So. It's gonna take a few tries maybe. Okay, so then I'm gonna pop on my glasses and I can see again. <laughs> so let me check if it still looks good. Yeah, looks all right. So it should turn out something like this. I think this is a really cute hairstyle. It is quite simple, but like I said, just a little nod to um, vintage hairstyling. And I think having the hair out of the face like this really highlights the glasses and makes them look extra good. So let's move on to the second hairstyle. For the second hairstyle I'm going to start by gathering all of my hair into a low ponytail. Right at the nape of my neck. And then I'm going to start twisting my hair kind of upwards like this to form a little bit of a French roll. So you can see from the side my hair is kind of doing that whole French roll thing and then I'm gonna pin that with some bobby pins. So I'm going to slide a pin in with the direction of the roll and then push it in against the roll. That's kind of the best way to secure a roll of hair like this. So then I am going to take a silk scarf. I have this one right here, it's a square scarf. So for a square scarf I am going to fold one of the points in like that with a point towards me. I'm going to flip over my head and place that little section right at the nape of my neck here. Then I'm going to take the point on the other side and also going to flip that inwards tuck it under like that and then I'm going to take these two points, flip my hair back and tie this right on top kind of at the base of my bangs. And I'm going to make sure that my hair is out of the way. So I'm going to tie this in a double knot like that and then tuck the tails into the side of the scarf right here. 
All right, so with this remaining hair, I am actually just going to kind of bunch it up on top of my head. Make sure it creates a nice little kind of mass of curls. And then I'm gonna stick a few bobby pins in there to secure this kind of bun thingy curl mess. <laughs> and I want this to be kind of random. I like a little bit of a messier look with this hairstyle. So I'm gonna pretty much just let the hair do its thing. And that should leave you with something like this. I feel like this is a really cool look achieved with minimal effort, so definitely give this one a try. Now for the last hairstyle, I'm going to create a little poof. So I'm going to start by separating out a section of hair from the back right here, just on my crown. And I'm gonna take my teasing comb again, or a little teasing brush, and back comb this quite heavily actually. All right, so then I'm gonna take a little bit of hair that is just in front of that. Separate that out as well and do the same thing. And again, moving forward a bit, back combing this as well. And I'm going to work my way all the way forward. All right, so now it's time to work with this mess. So I'm going to kind of pull it back and then start smoothing the top here with my teasing brush again. And you just kind of barely kind of hover over this just taking a few hairs to smooth this out. So you don't want to kind of shove your comb in there and just undo the whole teasing that you've just done. All right, and then I'm gonna give this a little twist in the back here and pin this with some boy pins. Just gonna use the same technique as I did with the French roll just now. And here you have a really cute 60s inspired style. Now if you want it, you could also take the rest of your hair, bring it up to where you have that little twist with bobby pins, twist all of your hair into a little cinnamon bun like this. And pin that down as well. And that way you can really easily turn this into an updo. So those were the styles I wanted to share with you today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for loads more hair tutorials. If you would like to support me on Patreon, I will have a link in the description box below. Thank you so much. There will be another video here that you may also enjoy. You can go watch next. Thank you for watching and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!